Okay, so we're just gonna start this. Okay, so until Akshay stops playing, like Pokemon. every good um, episode, this has just come from right after me playing Pokemon because Danny won't play. Let me play Pokemon up until the start of the episode. He wants me to like end it, and then he presses record, and then I like, and I have already stopped playing Pokemon. I might have cut out the first bit where there's a whole bunch of cave looking sounds. That's the problem. That's the sound of me playing Pokemon. <laughs> also, you're really distracted. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> because anyway. Pokemon's for the free and the brave and stuff. Yeah. So, welcome to another episode of The Thing with the Stuff, yeah. where today we're going to talk about a relatively not known book series. Well, we're going to use examples for it. Okay. For a bigger problem. A bigger which problem. Which is The Way of Kings and their It's by Brandon Sanderson. It's a fantastic book if... You're listening to this. None of this will make any sense until you've read the book. It, you it should all, read I'll the book. explain it. It's fine. You should read the book. Anyway. Just pause so, it right here and read the book. We're going to talk about Maginomics. Or don't. <laughs> which is magic and economics. Oh, boy. And the main problem is that authors who, like, fantasy authors do not have, like, good backgrounds in economics or they don't care, which is good for them. So, the main problem... Is that in worlds with magic, you can create things out of nothing, and therefore things lose their worth. Except some things don't. And they really, really should. Exactly. Yeah. Like money, if I had magic, I could just go and make more money. Yeah. With magic. And, and even if it only lasted for that. a little bit of time, I would just give my money to somebody really fast. Like in Harry Potter with the leprechauns in the fourth book. Leprechaun gold disappears, but one of the guys gave money to some other guys, I guess. And then it disappeared. Huh. I didn't know that. You should read Harry Potter. I've read the fourth Harry Potter. Seriously? Yeah. They were at the Quidditch World Cup, and Ireland mascots, the Leprechauns. And then Bagman, remember how they bet with Fred and George? And it's like, you know what? Ireland's going to win, but Crumb's going to get the snitch. And it's like, that's just a dumb bet. And then he paid them, and then the gold all disappeared. No. That totally happened. I don't remember that, but that's okay. what ended up happening in that game, though, Aaron. Yeah. Which is dumb. also dumb. <laughs> we talked about it. Go just listen to it's our previous dumb. episodes. What is just dumb? <laughs> but aside from that, magic makes economics not make sense anymore. Yeah. Because the way that economics works is that money is worth something, like a bushel of corn, or... A loaf of sheep? A dollar for a potato. A loaf of <laughs> sheep? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just a loaf. Anyway. So, yeah. But if you don't have your money based on anything, if people just start losing faith in money, then the money just crashes. Which is the problem with all money. And, and that's how yeah, inflation it, happens, like, in Earth. But inflation should happen, like, just so fast. There should be super inflation, because nobody should have any faith in money, because it's so easy to just make with magic fake money. I don't think it's... It's not... You can't make fake money. In Way of Kings, you can't make fake money. Because how does the store... What are they called? Oh, no, but you can make fake things that are worth money. You can do that. And so make money out of nothing, essentially, anyway. Well, I mean, that's what that's what carpenters do. No, but they have to like buy wood and stuff. Yeah, like and it takes time to make stuff, so there's labor cost. Mm -hmm. But if I was a carpenter and I could just magic things fixed, or magic things built, no, no, no. then labor like, costs. There's still labor costs. If we're talking about Way of Kings, which by the way you should read. If we're talking about, you should read it too, Dan. <laughs> I haven't finished it yet. Okay, so if you're talking about Way of Kings, then there are labor costs, and it says somewhere in one of the chapters that they only use fabrical fabricals to make things, to make food specifically, when they're not at war. And the only reason they're using it during the war is because it's faster and there's no supply lines. Yeah, no, but like, the government, but what about like normal people? Like, there's a house... It's like a royal house or whatever. 
that Between base their the economy off of a having royal a secret house fabrical. Means the government. Yeah, and they just built like granite mines or something. Yeah, and they just had they just magic to granite there. Yeah, and I can't see a problem with that, except for that like because they're still mining it out of the ground using yeah. physical means. But like, so what's the problem? Why with that? does anyone buy it from them? Because they have a lot of it and it's still granite. Yeah, but anyone could just magic granite. And it would be cheaper to just have someone magic something like no. that you need to be... Like, if you need, like, a granite countertop, then it'd be easier to carve it out of wood and just have someone magic that to granite. Because you can do that. Fabricals are very rare. Yeah, but still, it's probably less expensive than all the labor costs for mining. I don't think it is. Because if you think about it, like, what's her name? Oh, Shala, Shala, no. the the one that starts with a J or the one no that's the, the one that starts with an S the, the apprentice yeah oh, I don't know she traveled all the way to find one of the soul casting fabricals because she couldn't find one in oh her no because all the Ardens country. have them all the what the Ardens yeah the Ardens have a whole bunch of them okay and so. the Ardens don't nobody pays the Ardens for anything yeah They're they like, do. They pay the Ardens um, to make things. That's how the king makes most of his money. They talk about this. Aren't they like priests or something? Yeah. Man, that doesn't sound right. Okay. Yeah, but they're government people. But you should still just be able to pay them to make your granite. Wait a minute. Give me the way of kings. Let me go and find what I want. <laughs> so we're probably going to go and pause this while I read a book. <laughs> An go. entire book. For, like, a more than 1,000 page monstrosity of a book. This is a very, very big book. <laughs> and once I find what I want, nothing can stand before me. Shallon. It's just Shallon? Is it? Yeah. That seems simple. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's where it's talking about how they had. Is it granite? No, I have to see. It says. Where marble. Oh, that makes so much more sense than granite. <laughs> yeah. And and it was forbidden. Forbidden. Yes. So but he casting. still did it. <laughs> so if it's forbidden, that means that like barely anybody's doing it. Or are they? <laughs> Which means that the money is backed by the fabricals rather than the fabricals undermining the money. Who's the money backed by? The king. Who owns all the fabricals? The king, unless Not- you stole a fabrical. I don't think... I, no, you can buy one. There were people that were trading with, like, mountain people or something that had one hooked up to some sort of device that told them when people got near. That's not a soul caster, though. Is it not? What does the device do? It tells you when people are near. And what do soul casters do? <laughs> Make stuff. <laughs> so is that a soul caster, Danny? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's multi-purpose. It's not going to be multi-purpose. <laughs> it's probably not going to be multi-purpose. Which means since the king and the fabricals are like on the same side, I'm going to say the fabricals don't undermine the economy. I think they would. I think you could pay it ardent to make you solid gold for... Not as much as solid gold would cost. Except solid gold doesn't cost anything. Oh, yeah, because it's weird and they have weird money. <laughs> yeah, their money is based off of things that can hold Stormlight. Because all of the chips and whatever can hold Stormlight. And things that are soul casted can't hold Stormlight. Which means their money system is independent of their making stuff out of nothing. Yeah, I know, but you can make solid gold and then sell it for money. No, nobody cares about solid gold. If you can make they care solid about gold. marble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. What if I want a solid gold countertop? Then it would be as easy to get as a solid marble countertop. So you wouldn't have to mine it. You would just pay an ardent to come over and like, here's like five bucks. Yeah, but it's just a magic lot that super fast. To just like magic an entire like giant thing of gold in the ground than this to go to everybody's tabletop and like magic one entire tabletop for every single like house. It's a lot well, easier only just for the rich people for just a like... giant a giant thing of gold in the ground. That would be easy. You're just like hey, and you point your hand at the ground and you make all your magic motions and then boom, 
gold, like a giant thing of gold. Then you can mine that. I guess you're not really mining it, because it would be really soft. <laughs> I feel like you can dig that out with a shovel. Yeah. Hands. A spoon. I don't think you know how gold works. <laughs> really soft. I don't think you know how gold works. If it's pure, then it's really soft. Pure. Yeah, but not with, like, your hands. With your hands? You would just, like, kind of, like, tear off a chunk? I don't think so. I think so. <laughs> Do you how, know how pure gold works? You can Danny? cut it with a knife, though, because what you do is you find gold, right? To yeah. see if it's if it's real. Mm -hmm. Is that how you make tech solid gold? That's the thing, right? I've heard. Okay. But I've also heard that you can rip it off with your hands, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to believe that, too. I see. Porn is making stuff out of nothing. Shouldn't undervalue currency, because if you're smart, you're going to make a currency that can't be made out of nothing. What about, like, Dungeons & Dragons? What about Dungeons & Dragons? There's spells that create, like, minor nonsense, and you can just make gold coins. And what's the problem with that? You it's... can spend those gold coins. But it seems like a pretty easy conversion, right? You're using your spell or whatever, and then you make gold. Yeah. So it's you're converting, like, some sort of effort into some other type of effort. You're no, but because there's not a changing... specific amount of money in circulation, then it screws with the economy because of the amount of money that exists. What if... You're actually stealing gold from somewhere else on the on the world. That would suck. You like just open your gold bag sometime, and you just all of your gold just disappeared. I was thinking more like the center of the earth, and like eventually, just that spell won't work anymore because there's no gold to take out of the center of the earth. Oh no, because it disappears after a couple of rounds. It does. Yep. Oh, so you just magically get it into your hand. You say, "Here's five gold pieces. I want a loaf of bread." And then you get your loaf of bread, and they don't get their five gold pieces yeah, after exactly. a couple of rounds, unless they spend it real quick. Exactly. Okay. That just seems like a really jerkish thing to do. Almost but as... But it's easy to do. It's probably as easy as just stealing something. How easy is it to steal stuff? I don't know. Like, probably pretty hard. <laughs> really? I don't know. I haven't stolen stuff before. <laughs> Seriously? Playing all your Dungeons and Dragons and you haven't stolen Oh, wait. Anything? No, yeah, that's easy. You just use oh. magic. <laughs> So you're using magic to steal stuff in one of two ways. It's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, but stealing it's not is like, illegal. It's not like you're breaking the economy. Yeah, it is. If you're making fake gold, you're giving them nothing for something, which is devaluing gold coins. Also, people would have to like wait like five minutes to make sure that the gold coins don't disappear. So how does that devalue the economy? Well, it makes like exchanges take so much longer. And how does that devalue the economy? <laughs> it makes everything worse. <laughs> but does it devalue the economy? It makes it worse. <laughs> does it... <laughs> Get how it makes transactions, like, dumb about Like, it. if you okay. were in a supermarket, what if every single person took five minutes to pay? Except it, Dungeons & Dragons is said in the past, where, like, nobody, like, barely anybody buys stuff. I don't think you know how the past works. <laughs> I know exactly how the past works. Barely anybody buys stuff. They barter like savages. Yeah. I'll give you this loaf of sheep for your loaf of bear. <laughs> What's up with loaves of animals? <laughs> I don't know. That's going to be our cover art. It's going to be a loaf of animal. <laughs> a loaf of sheep. A loaf of bear. Just us trading. Yeah. It's not going to be that probably. We'll I find out, I guess. Yeah. Ooh. I guess we will. Guys, there's channel art. On the channel. Which they probably don't know. Because, you know, they probably haven't, like, looked at the channel. <laughs> you know what? Okay. <laughs> Just okay. <laughs> yeah. We're super proud of our channel art. You should check it it's out. very nice. It looks like our, like, took Nathan video so many art, hours. except not video art. It's actually channel and they art. And more of it, and it took Nathan so many hours. There's, like, 12 of me. Maybe closer to 8. Probably not any less than 6, though, which I'm super awesome with. I'm writing a something, and also I have stuff on my places. <laughs> Pretend that didn't sound as weird as it sounded. Yeah. Magic is dumb. Magic is awesome. It's the only way to fly. Yeah, because you just use a fly spell with magic. Now you're talking Dungeons and Dragons. 
I feel oh. like in any world where there is magic, people who could cast magic would be the kings of that world. Yeah. Just like in any world in which there are people who have arms and people who don't, the people who have arms do better stuff than the people who don't. Magic is dumb. Harry Potter is dumb. <laughs> okay. You had Pokemon problems? Oh, yeah. We're Aside. transitioning into Pokemon now. Aside from the problem that I like to play Pokemon while I'm supposed to be podcasting. <laughs> he has other Pokemon problems. Let's go. Let's talk about animal rights. <laughs> Let's not talk about animal rights. <laughs> How do Pokeballs work, Akshay? They just capture the Pokemon. How? Nobody knows. I'm thinking lasers. <laughs> Definitely thinking lasers. <laughs> Does it shrink the Pokemon? Yes. For sure. For sure. Or it digitizes them. Nobody actually knows. I'm actually going to go with digitizing, which is why you can upload them to the PC. What happens if they're just in their Pokeball? What do you mean? Do they just sit there? They're digitized. Is it them sitting there? No. They are asleep. For all intents and purposes. Not you like, don't even send them to a nice digital Pokemon farm. They're asleep. With nice digital Pokemon people. It's and like nice digital Pokemon grass. Teleporting them into the future. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot like teleporting them into the future. Also, animal rights don't exist because animals don't exist. Only Pokemon. Have you seen the game theory where people evolved from Pokemon? No. People evolved from Pokemon. No. <laughs> This is going to be dumb. Continue. <laughs> We're just accepting that as fact. What? Why are we doing that? Why wouldn't we go to Pokemon Evolved from people? Rather than people evolved from Pokemon. Because people can talk. Pokemon can talk. And they can say their names. And that's true that one from the Poke- from the show that belongs to the bad guys that can talk. It's like a cat yeah. or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why can he talk? He tried really, really hard. That's actually his story. He tried really, really hard, and now he can talk. Also, he can never evolve. Because he spent all of his evolving energy, instead of on evolving, he spent it on learning how to talk. Because he tried really, really hard. Yeah. Hmm. So, Pokemon economy stuff. Yes. What do you people do that isn't catching Pokemon? Nothing. They live in a paradise. What about who farms? Nobody needs to farm. Do they eat Pokemon? Sometimes. They do. There's at least one that they eat. It talks about it in the Pokedex. They grill its own leek that it uses as, like, a sword or whatever. They grill it, and they serve it with the far-fetched. Which is kind of weird, actually. It's kind of, like, super weird. Yeah. It is weird. The point is, no. No, they do not do anything weird. Like, there are cops and stuff, and there are people who sell stuff. But everybody else just lives in paradise. Where do they get stuff? Like, what stuff? Like, Pokeballs. They make them. There are people who do that. There was one in Crystal, and you played Crystal. What was his name? I don't know. I played Crystal, like, a year ago. That's the only Pokemon game I've ever played. He lived in some town. It started with an A. Azalea Town? Mahogany? Sounds, oh, yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. There's a guy who makes Pokeballs yeah. out of, like, tree bark or something. Yeah. My guess is they also have, like, factories and stuff. He makes them out of apricorns. Ah, uh, what's that? Pretty sure they're, like, pine cones. <laughs> they look like pine cones. I think. They're pretty much mm. pine cones. <laughs> and back in the olden days, instead of using Pokeballs, they would just use the apricorns. They just knocked Pokemon out with pine cones? <laughs> no, they would <laughs> toss them over their backs? And drag them places. <laughs> they would catch them inside a pine cone using Pokemon magic. I don't think magic. you know how pine cones work. <laughs> this is exactly how it works. <laughs> oh, we're looking things up now. Yeah. Brace we're for the typing noises. We're professional, and it would be weird if we didn't look anything up ever. It's looking up apricorns. I think they're turning in the apricots. I really hope it does. Can't Mewtwo talk? Mewtwo is sidekick. And he doesn't talk as much as he is a sidekick. What? What are you... 
So we can psychic talk to people. Yeah. yeah can you talk? Yes, Mew is also psychic. Can all psychic Pokemon talk? I'm going to say yes, because they are psychic. What do they talk about? I don't know. Do they talk about how they no. they wake up, no. kill something, no. and then go back to sleep <laughs> and never get fed? No. And never, no. never like what drink water? About. Also, they don't kill stuff. They faint stuff. Okay. So a fainted Pokemon isn't going to last very long in high grass. It's right. going to get eaten by other Pokemon. Oh! Everyone knows those Pokemon get eaten. No. What? Usually, Apricorns are hollowed out by specialists and fitted with special devices used to catch Pokemon. Like, they're not... They're not the Pokeballs. You just put Pokeball stuff inside of them. In times gone by, the only Pokeballs that existed were made from apricorns, with the process used to create the Pokeballs being developed sometime between 400 to 700 years before the present day. As they were the only Pokeballs at the time, apricorn balls were quite common, unlike in modern times when large companies such as Silfco and the Devon Corporation developed Pokeballs mechanically and mass-produced them for use by trainers. What's um, the government in Pokemon? There is no government. That's a problem. Alternatively, the Elite Four. Alternatively, they live in paradise. What if I decided that I was going to get my team of Charmanders and burn the vi- town to the ground? There was somebody who would stop you. Like, seriously, Charmanders suck. <laughs> what if I caught all the legendary Pokemon, was unstoppable, and then burned everything to the ground? What would a government do? Stop me, presumably. You said unstoppable. <laughs> If I like normal trainers, I was thinking like, can you not catch? Just the way the Pokeballs work, you can't catch Pokeballs that or Pokemon that have already been caught, mm-hmm. or you can't catch like it's just not polite to steal Pokemon. You can't catch Pokemon that have already been caught, except for in one episode where Jesse and James did that. As it works, is that if you're doing as it works in the games, is that if you're doing a trainer battle and you try and throw the Pokeball, the other trainer like hits it. Actually, yeah, I guess it's just not polite. So what if I went, fought Red, stole his Pokemon, I became the champ, Pokemon. Pokeballs. Yeah, are your Pokeballs faster than, than Pikachu? Yeah, because no. people can catch a Pikachu, which means Pokeballs must be faster than Pikachu. I'm on level 81 Pikachu. <laughs> I just invent, I'd just be smart, invent a better Pokeball. They've, they've done that. Yeah, exactly. I'll we'll just ball. make more of those. And then I would catch all the Pokemon. I think they'd be okay all with that. The, I actually think they'd be okay I'd with be that. champion and in charge of the government. And then it'd be like, okay, guys, today we're just going to burn things to the ground. They'd be okay with that. That's the problem with the Pokemon world. They live it in doesn't depend paradise. on who's smart and who's not to run the government. And it depends on who's good at Pokemon. Exactly. Which solves all your problems. Exactly. Like, let's say, let's say the Pokemon president wants to feed all the people in the world, he just goes and he catches, like, Shaman or whatever, and then he just feeds all the people in the world. He just does that. Just catches Pokemon and kills him and eats him? No, what do you Pokemon no, 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 not what I was going for. He catches Pokemon and then he, like, makes them do weird grass magic and everybody's a vegetarian now. That's what I There's was There's definitely for. a Pokemon that they eat the meat of. Farfetch'd. Okay, it might be that. Also, maybe Tauros? There was one in Gen 3. Like Emerald? Like Crystal. That's Gen 2. Yeah, that's what I meant. Um, maybe Miltank? I don't know, but it was like, they eat this. Like, they hunt it. I'm still thinking Farfetch'd. It might be Farfetch'd, I don't remember. I don't remember what Farfetch'd was. Does that mean there's Pokemon hunters with, like, rifles? No, I guess they use I'd Pokemon. So they use Pokemon to kill other Pokemon? Yep. So they don't faint the opponent's Pokemon? They faint them and they eat them alive. <laughs> That's worse. I'm guessing fainting Pokemon and killing Pokemon are different. And you can do, like, either. Fainted Pokemon die in high grass. <laughs> unless they're, like, they're... Without a doubt, unless, unless they're, they're super lucky, they're going to get them eaten. back to life. Like, wild grass is teeming with people. 
like or teaming with Pokemon, you just knock out a Rattata, yeah. and then it's Rattata brothers like eat him. They eat him. Why would That's they how eat animals him? work. They're not animals. They're Pokemon. Pokemon eat other Pokemon. No. What do you think Pokemon eat? Nothing. <laughs> They're made out of magic, and they eat nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they eat other Pokemon. No. There's probably vegetarian Pokemon that eat the grass, no. and that's why they hide in the high grass. And there's other Pokemon who eat those Pokemon, and that's why they're also in high grass. Which is why Pokemon are found in high grass, because that's where their, like, or eating cycles happen. Pokemon don't eat anything because they're made out of magic. What about, like, the whale Pokemon? The whale Pokemon? Yeah. Also doesn't eat anything because it's also made out of magic. He definitely would eat stuff. Why would he eat stuff? Because he has mass, and you need to, like, energy... Energy Not purposes. in Pokemon. So one of them burns hotter than the freaking sun. Do you know yeah. what he would have to eat to do that? <laughs> a freaking sun. <laughs> As that is clearly not happening here. Also, it would burn everything around him. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, like there would be no high grass. Yeah, weird temperature scales. Maybe their Celsius is different from our Celsius. That would make sense, because... That would actually just burn the, the continent that he's on. Unless the continent is built to survive heat for reasons. Maybe his inside is hotter than the freaking sun. And the is outside... Is on fire? Is that the snail? Yeah. He's like a lava snail or something, right? Mm-hmm. he burn everything that he touches. Yep. That's a, how does he not burn through the Pokeball? Because Pokeballs digitize stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna... That's, that's pretty much canon. Digital magic. Digital magic. Also magic magic. Both types of magic. That Pokemon can kill you. Yep. Most Pokemon can kill you. Why don't Pokemon just eat people? Not smart enough. Except for the ones that can talk psychically. They're not that smart. All they do is talk Mewtwo psychically. Mewtwo assembles an army of cloned Pokemon, doesn't it? He? he does... But he loses to the power of lots of Pokemon crying. So he's obviously not that smart. <laughs> I see. Why does he assemble an army of cloned Pokemon? He wanted to. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, he, he woke up one day and he's pretty much a god and he wanted to. <laughs> he just flipped into existence after being cloned. He's like, I'm pretty much a god. Let's clone some Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's actually it. That actually might be it. Because <laughs> cloned him was stronger than, like, non-cloned Mew. So I'm just like, you know what? Doesn't cloned? Mew defeat him? No. He gets defeated by a bunch of Pokemon crying. Hmm. And then he has, appears in Smash Bros. And then he appears in Smash Bros. He kind of runs away with Mew at the end of the movie. I think he fights a Genesect in some movies. A what? A Genesect. What is that? Bug Steel. It looks kind of like Kabutops if Kabutops was a cyborg. I don't know what that is either. You know what Kabutops is? I played one Pokemon Jesus game. Christ, man. <laughs> Going back to the research, there will be a Kabutops in our channel art. I don't care what you think, there will be one. Okay. But no, like, so the economy is based off fighting Pokemon, right? What other ways can you make money? Selling stuff. Besides that. How many other ways can you make money in this world? I uh, don't know, like service-related jobs, I guess? There are service-related jobs. Is there, like, education in the Pokemon world? Yeah, one of the gym leaders is a school teacher. That's Kabutops. Why aren't you in school, then? Why aren't you in school? Because it's like a kindergarten school teaching. You don't need to learn, like, advanced physics when there's no physics, it's actually just magic. So they just don't advance anything in science? Yeah, they do. They got some. They got pokeballs, and then they stopped. Like, what more do you need? Just a cyborg, one of the other ones. Yeah, is that an evolution? No, it's this is a legendary Pokemon. Huh? Yeah, it's odd. It was this Pokemon was cloned by God knows what. Probably Mewtwo. No, it was cloned by some team. It was cloned off of God knows what. Oh, Team Plasma. Are those the ones that fight for Pokemon rights? No. What team is that? Oh. Actually, yeah, it might be Plasma. The secret, you guess? No, no. That's N fights for Pokemon rights. Who? N. His name's N. He's pretty cool. 
Like from Death Note? But there's, they're like the bad guys in something, right? In one of the games. The ones who fight for Pokemon rights? Yeah. And? Even though they're totally right. What? Oh no, N, N's a person. Yeah. He's the leader of a team. Oh, right? he's, he's the leader of Plasma. Yeah. He's the puppet leader of Plasma. The real leader of Plasma is really weird. Oh. He used to be the leader of Plasma. Now he fights for... He aspires to create separate worlds for humans and Pokemon, and his real name is Natural Harmonia Gropius. That is an odd the name hell? to have. He's got odd hair. He's got really long green hair. His hair is both very long and very green, and his Pokemon teams don't have any types in common. Look at that. Like, right here, he's got Zekrom, Caracosta, Vanillax, Archeops, Zoroark, Kling Kling, and over here, he's got different stuff. And over here, he's got completely different stuff. And over here, he's got God knows what. None of his teams are the same. All of his teams are dumb. Look at this. They're all winter Pokemon. And over here, they're all autumn Pokemon. And over here, they're all fire Pokemon. And over here, they're all whatever the water Pokemon. He's really dumb. He is not a smart person. They all know Sunny Day. Look, Sunny Day, Sunny Day... And this one has drought. So, like, three of them pretty much know Sunny Day. Point I'm trying to make. I forgot what point I was trying to make. What were we on? That the people fighting for Pokemon Reds are bad guys. They, one of them is a bad guy, and he turns into a good guy. So he's not actually a bad guy. I'm just saying. Also, you make Pokemon fight each other. I, they like fighting each other. How do you know that? Because they have happinesses, and their happinesses go up when they level up, and they level up when they fight each other. I feel like they're just reading the happiness skill wrong. Okay. That's a personal idea. <laughs> and this is, oh, some Pokemon evolve and their happiness is high enough. Which if makes you think, like, if they're reading it backwards, that's really depressing. <laughs> if they're reading it forwards, though, that's really uplifting. That's bad, because Pokemon evolve into death. What? No, they don't. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's evolution, 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 death. What? They don't die. Yeah, they die of old age after they evolve. They don't die of old of age. Nobody dies of old age. Yes, they do. Pokemon don't die of old they age. They don't die of old age in the wild because they don't evolve. They don't die of old age in, like, not wild. Like, legendaries don't die. Yeah, because th they don't evolve. You're saying the final legendaries are immortal because they don't evolve. You're saying the final evolution is being dead. Yes. What? <laughs> Otherwise, Where did species that come overpopulation. From? <laughs> it makes sense. I can see the whole species overpopulation thing. Unless they, I don't know. I don't get the whole evolving into death. This thing. is what I think happened in Pokemon. <sighs> Okay. Pokemon used to fight. This is the history. Are you ready for this? Okay, I'm ready for Pokemon this. Pokemon used to fight each other? Yes. They stopped fighting each other. People had Pokemon um, overpopulation problems. So they started training trainers to go and catch Pokemon and fight them until they died to, in order to combat overpopulation. Also, trainer battles. What's wrong with that? You're killing Pokemon! <laughs> to prevent overpopulation. Also, you're making them happy. Also, you're making them stronger. But they totally evolve into death, right? No. No, that's also dumb. <laughs> that makes sense. No. They get older as they evolve, and it's not on an age-based scale. So they die once they get hit a certain age, which is a certain Except level of experience. some things evolve when they do God knows what. Most things evolve when they level up. But some things evolve when God knows what. Yeah. Which means, what happens if those guys get to level 100? Then, they if they get like a stone, another stone or something, I don't know. So it's not like, stone or something. it's not like know. evolving would stop overpopulation. No, because if you level up, evolve fast, level 100, <laughs> you die. <laughs> what? That's why you stop at level 100. Did you say level up, evolve, level 1's <laughs> best? 
I don't know. I don't know what I you said. You said lots of words. I did. I'm thinking most of them. Once you get past level 100, you die. You just straight up die. Yeah. Like you That's why you don't go past level down. 100. Or you just don't go past level 100 because there is no past level 100. Yes, you do. Yes, there is. It's death. Okay. Level 101 is death. Level 101 is death. Yes. Okay. Are you willing to concede this argument? I'm willing to concede that level 101 is death. I'm not willing to concede that the economics make no sense because they make a lot of sense. Well, what if you're just bad at fighting Pokemon? Do you just pour and live on the streets? Nobody lives on the streets. It's paradise. <laughs> How do you pay for your house? What? I'll be bad at catching Pokemon. Like, you're one of those trainers that have, like, two level one Pokemon. Then how do you pay for your house? I yeah. don't know. Maybe you give massages or you're a hair, a hair specialist or whatever. Those guys make bang. Yeah, they have to do. Maybe you're just a random guy who works in the casino. You can be bad at Pokemon and work in the casino. Yeah. Yeah. You just make money the normal way. So do people get jobs and then they also become trainers on the side until they're good at being trainers? Nah. Also, how sad is it for like every adult in both the Pokemon world that 10-year-old kids continue beating them? <laughs> Dude, our 10-year-old kid's just really, really good. Like, There's only one super hyper good 10-year-old. Also, I'm guessing most of those people are just like random people. Like, they're barely Pokemon trainers. Like, lots of guys you fight, you're just, they're just, like, going so about their day. So you think Pokemon's a new thing? No, no, I'm thinking that... And people that, have just started catching Pokemon? That the league challenge isn't most people's focus. Like, lots of guys you fit you face are, like, fishermen, mm -hmm. you know? And they're they're literally, like, they're fishing for catching fun. Catching fish Pokemon so they can kill them. Or catching fish Pokemon so they can be like, Hey, one time I caught a Magikarp that's literally 50 feet long, and also he's blue, and also he can fly. And then that he ate that magic carp. No, that's not the point. What do you think the end of that story was? Not the point. Food for his what family is, for a month. He's just a fisherman who's fishing, and you walk up to him, and you're like, hey, you want to do a Pokemon battle? And he's like, sure, why not? You know, it's not like he's like an actual hardcore diehard trainer. He's just a guy fishing. That makes sense. Yeah. Why don't any adults become diehard trainers? Some why isn't Professor Oak a trainer? Oh, he is. He just never fights you. He's too good. Why isn't he the champion? I don't know. Wait, what's your problem with, with Blue being the champion? Oh, wait, you're in Crystal. What's your problem with Lance being the... Lance is an adult and he's a diehard trainer. Is he an adult? No, no, no. He is you an can't adult. really tell. Agatha? Definitely Agatha. What? Agatha? Who? Karen. Who? Jesus Christ. Uh... I don't remember what do you her remember? names. <laughs> Agatha is like this old, old lady. She's like 70-something, and she's the poison type elite four. Oh, yeah. That sounds vaguely familiar. No, it doesn't. You played Crystal. <laughs> Agatha's <laughs> no, in Fire Emblem that, <laughs> that doesn't sound vaguely familiar. Karen's in Crystal. She's dark type. She's like that also young No, I thought the dark type person was like a ninja person. Mm. Do you think Koga? And Koga's, Koga's also poison type. Oh, okay. It goes Koga, Chuck, Bruno, Karen, Will? And then Lance? And, and Lance is dragon type? Yeah. He's a flying type. Don't let anybody tell you different. He's flying type. Charizard, Aerodactyl, Gyarados, dragon type. What do they have all, what do they all have in flying common? Flying and not dragon flying type. Flying and not dragon type. <laughs> Doesn't he say he's a dragon person? Yeah, but he's wrong, because, like, half of these dudes <laughs> aren't dragons. That's why he lost the championship, because he doesn't know how Pokemon work. <laughs> he does not. He has one dragon. No, I think it's he's just got, like, dragon. He's got three dragon knights, though. Because Aerodactyl's rock flying. But he's got three dragon knights. Oh. <laughs> so that's three dragons. <laughs> one of them isn't even an HM slave. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> Danny made his Dragonite nature. Danny wants to make his Dragonite nature. I'm like, yep. I don't even know what's going on. Haven't anymore. leveled up my Dragonite that much. I can learn Surf, Flying, Rock, the Rock Slide, Rock Smash, and Cut. The best Probably ones. Strength. All of yeah, all the best ones that you need. Still disgusting. You're disgusting. 
<laughs> Why do you do things? Why do you like use bidus for an HM so that Dragonite is better? Because you have to level it up. Because you have to get your Dragonite to level 55, and also its stats are amazing. Yeah, so just get two Dragonites. Then you have to level them up to level 55 <laughs> twice. Not if you catch them at level like 50. Yeah, that's not happening. You can't well, catch them at level Why don't wild Pokemon level up as much? It's because they don't want to die, and it's a defense mechanism. Level 101 is death. There's a level 100 Magikarp you can find in the lake, and Magikarp evolve at level 20. <laughs> So your everything is wrong. <laughs> What's wrong with that magic card? I have no idea. I think he just has like no, no. I think there's like multiple, genetic deficiencies. There's multiple level hundred magic cards you can find in that lake. As is far this as wrong hack? No, no, no. I'm pretty sure there's like this one lake, and it contains magic cards from level like ten to say ninety nine or a hundred. But not any 101 level magic cards. Because there is no level 101. Dead. Or because level 101 is death. Exactly. Or because there is no level 101. Do you know what I love, though? <laughs> what? Mega Evolution. I just don't know how that works. You can do that to Lucario, right? Yes. Also, magic exists. Lucario is just magic. Pokemon is just magic. The resort area. The resort area in Platinum, if you're fishing with a Super Rod, you have a 100% chance of finding a Magikarp between the levels of 1 and 100. Which means wild level... Genetically magic deficient Magikarp. Oh yeah, definitely. The because Magikarp they don't evolve. Is so stacked. Hella stacked. A pokey kid? What? I don't even know, man. But... Is that a person? <laughs> Ooh, nature preserve. Now we're just kind of flipping through Pokemon stuff. I hope you've enjoyed this nonsense episode. This episode used to not be nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> How about Magignomics, though? Uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, can you Magignomics Pokemon? Can you make your Lucario make money? Uh, Payday. Magikarp knows Payday. What is that? It's a move, and if you use it and you win the battle, you get way more money than you would have otherwise gotten. And if it's a wild battle, and you usually don't make money in wild battles, if you use it, you make money. Wait a minute. Why haven't we been talking about this? Because you've got problems with, like, <laughs> animal abuse or <laughs> level 101 is dead. <laughs> it makes sense. So, theoretically, you get your, your Meowth. You go out, you make him level, let's say, like, 30 or something. He learns payday. And then you just make yourself money. And then you go like to, you like... you just have him punch a punching bag, and money would just fly everywhere. I mean, kinda. Even in the game, you can just go to, like, really low areas, and you use payday, and that totally kills the dude, because they're, like, level 5, and then once you run out of power points, you go to the PC, and you know, heal yourself, heal yourself. And you make bank. So you can just make money? Oh, yeah. So how does the economy work? I don't know. Is that why this stuff is so expensive in Pokemon? Oh, yeah. It's like $200 for a potion. My guess is that... I ain't paying no $200 for a potion. My guess is since Magikarp actually makes money, like, the money's not money money. It's, like, an integral part of whatever. Like, a Pokeball doesn't cost 200 monies because, like, they're just like, hey, this is probably, like, 200 monies worth of Pokeball. It's like, because it actually physically takes 200 monies to make a Pokeball. Like, they melt it down, they stick it in the Pokeball or whatever. Isn't Pokeballs made of acorns? They used to make Pokeballs inside of acorns. Acorns, not pine cones! (laughs) (laughs) Don't ask me. So, you don't make it out of that, then? They just to make just... it inside of that. Yeah. Yeah. But that's going to take a different amount of nonsense to melt down than a normal Pokeball would. I guess so. Which doesn't make sense. Sometimes things don't make sense. Oh, I'm really tired. I know, right? <laughs> in case you're wondering, this isn't actually late at night. This is one thirty in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> We're not built for staying up this late. <laughs> this is too late. 
I do manage to wake up at 12 o'clock, eat food, and then go back to sleep at 1 yeah. o'clock. So that's all we didn't have planned? Yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Do you think Nathan's just going to copy paste the art from the channel art? I don't know. I kind of hope not. You know? Yeah. I don't have stuff like doing stuff. You could be dressed up as a Pokemon. I could be a Pokemon trainer. You could be a Pokemon. My Pokemon name is Danny Fish. What? (laughs) What does that have to do with anything? (laughs) Nothing. Okay. So? Actually, if you were a trainer, what color name would you be? (laughs) What color name? Yeah. Blue. (laughs) <laughs> no, that's not surprising. Maybe Aquamarine. But that just seems like, like a girlish name. <laughs> Maybe like Cyan, like the color, but that also seems like a girlish name. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Maybe like... I don't know. I don't know the names of many colors. I don't want to choose one of the colors other people have chosen. Maybe like topaz, because in gold, silver, crystal, and like platinum and diamond and pearl and whatever, they're named after stone, stones and stuff. So crystal sound or topaz sounds pretty cool. Topaz is a nice gem name. Yeah, it doesn't even sound that girly. You know, like most of the gem names sound sound girly. Sapphire is definitely a girly color. List of colors. I remember we looked this up a while ago. Yeah, and you my s- favorite was electric ultramarine blue. <laughs> oh God, what is what? What do I click? Rainbow, visible. Wait, list color of colors physics combat. Color. List of colors combat. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Big Dippo Ruby. <laughs> what? <laughs> Big <laughs> Dippo Ruby. <laughs> Belgian. It just sounds like Belgium. <laughs> Bedazzled blue. Blanched almond. This is not combat. <laughs> I guess it's more. Oh god. <laughs> I feel like I'm. I can What's have the a, last I color? Can have a What's the last color? I can probably totally have a seizure. From Saffron. Zomp. Zomp. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice color. <laughs> Freaking zomp. Zimbalid eyed brown. Yellow Zaffer. orange. Yellow green. Yellow. Yeah. Yellow rose. Yellow process. Yellow lens. Zaffer actually sounds like a real color. Zafri. Wheat. Wine. Oh, uh, wine dregs. Spanish violet. Then this has been our segment of naming off colors. <laughs> that nobody thought existed. Queen. Pink. Purple plum. Queen blue. Purple mountain majesty the color. <laughs> purple times 11. <laughs> what? Go back to purple. I'm <laughs> going back to purple. It was over here somewhere. <laughs> Purple, purple times 11. Purple X11? <laughs> UPS purple brown. Purple HTML? UPS brown. <laughs> Wait, that just redirects to brown. <laughs> um, Palo Vernese Green? Yeah. Pepeo Whip? Mellow Apricot? Mystic. Mellow Yellow? Mystic? <laughs> Mystic Maroon? Mustard? Mikado Yellow? Mummy Tomb? Medium, medium spring toy. green. <laughs> oh man, there's so many mediums. Medium electric blue. Medium toucan red. Medium Tuscan candy red. apple red. Mayan blue. Medium meat brown. Persian that's like not. Blue. That's not even a meat color. What? <laughs> meat brown. Where's meat brown? Red right there. That is not like, a meat no, color. I think it's like when you brown the meat. It oh turns yeah, that meat makes, brown. No, it turns darker than that. It turns into about a mode. Wait, go back. <laughs> Fine. It turns into about a mode beige. <laughs> that's what I would say. Yeah, that doesn't that look mode pretty, beige to that, you? That brown meat is pretty brown. <laughs> Someone look maybe, pretty mode maybe beige. It's brown chicken. <laughs> I think that's turkey. I think that's beef. Oh yeah, maybe. I brown turkey a lot. I feel like that's what I do usually. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're we're useless. <laughs> our podcast. You felt like it stopped five minutes ago. <laughs> this is good. Let's go and save all of our whatever till the end, like all the good stuff. No, we're keeping all of this. Do we have good stuff. We're keeping all of this. No, I mean like at the end when everybody has stopped listening. <laughs> we say so, actual. Good the stuff. moral of the story is that Pokemon suffers from Maginomics. Also, level one hundred and one is death. Level one hundred one is death. Brown chicken looks around me. Oh brown. yeah, there we go. Sweet. What they really meant is chicken meat brown. I I guess they did. 
Yeah. Okay, and that has been us no, naming no, wait, colors. Wait, we have more good a stuff. A recurring segment. Do we have uh, one more? Magino- magic makes economics dumb, unless you base your economics off of things that aren't magical, magic-related or anything. You'd have to basically make all magic contraband. Yeah. Because, like, the it only works in Way of Kings, because only, like, the very few people have the magic ability to make money. Yeah. And those people all serve the king. But in any other magic universe where it's, like, in, like random people can be born with magic, yeah, then they can just make I mean, even money. Shallan, like, she could just mess stuff up. Yeah. Because she's not under control of the king. And Shallan's dad did mess stuff up. I see. She didn't. He did. That chicken looks really good. It does. Kind of Veggie now. and chicken spring rolls. Yeah, that looks good. Dude. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go eat else? food. Do so anything else? This is it. Wait, oh, oh, I think we're cutting down our end segments, because they're just a pain to record after. They are a pain to record after. I don't know why we ever started doing that. I don't know. We started doing it once, because we forgot to thank Nathan for art. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But now we just have, like, a permanent thank you, Nathan, for art. He should have put it on our banner. Yeah. He could have totally done that. It could have just been, like, a giant thank you, Nathan, for art. Anyway, I've been the thing, and he's been the stuff. I thought I was the stuff this time. No. That's what I just said. Aw, oh, dang, I messed up. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Nathan, for art. You're fantastic. You're a lovely human Next being. Next time you have a banner, just write it on the Everyone banner. Everyone subscribe and like these videos. Show random people that you know. Ooh. It'll be... Show your family members. Show I your guess. dad this time. Show your dad. And he'll be like, you're not my dad. You're not my son. And you'll be like, you're not my real dad, <laughs> stepdad. And he'll be like, don't call me Bill. Your mom and I have agreed that you should call me dad. And he's like, shut up, Bill. I watched an episode of Supernatural yesterday. <laughs> I just watched a couple episodes of Supernatural. And I watched an episode of Gossip Girl. This isn't important. <laughs> I'm not talking to Oksha <laughs> now. <laughs> I don't know why we're still recording. Do I Subscribe, stop it? I guess. Yeah.